More partners in space exploration, new data measuring ocean health, air quality, and our climate, and an upgrade to testing facilities for Artemis II. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On April 15th, Switzerland became the 37th country to sign the Artemis Accords. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson and Guy Parmelon, Swiss Federal Counselor and Minister for Economic Affairs, Education and Research, participated in the signing ceremony at NASA headquarters. On April 16th, Minister for Education Mats Persson signed the Artemis Accords on behalf of Sweden at an event in Stockholm. On April 19th, Slovenia joined the Artemis Accords at a ceremony in Slovenia. The Artemis Accords established a set of principles to guide space exploration among nations for the sustainable and beneficial use of space for all humankind. NASA's newest Earth observing satellite released first of their kind measurements of ocean health, air quality, and the effects of a changing climate. PACE, the Plankton Aerosol Cloud Ocean Ecosystem Satellite, will allow researchers to study microscopic life in the ocean and particles in the air. PACE data will advance our understanding of issues including fisheries health, air pollution, and wildfire smoke. To learn more and access PACE data, visit pace.oceansciences.org. Teams at NASA's Kennedy Space Center have made significant upgrades to the altitude chamber where testing for the Orion spacecraft will occur. The altitude chamber was upgraded to simulate an altitude of up to 250,000 feet. Before the Artemis II mission, engineers will put the Orion spacecraft through a series of rigorous tests to ensure it is ready for flight. NASA's Artemis II mission will carry four astronauts aboard the Orion spacecraft on a flight around the moon and back to Earth. NASA's 2024 Student Launch Challenge brought students from colleges, universities, high schools, middle schools, and informal education groups to launch amateur rockets and payloads on Saturday, April 13th near NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Student Launch provides relevant, cost-effective research and development of rocket propulsion systems and reflects the goals of NASA's Artemis campaign, which seeks to put the first woman and person of color on the moon. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.